Well, I think that starts. I think that starts in in everybody's, uh, however you want to call it, in a private property world, like in everybody's home. Yep, like that has to. You have to lead that. That's what being a leader is. It's it's taking that example and and being that. Like you have to self uh, persevere and do the hard things yourself. And it's like, yeah, you may have a robot and you want it to pick weeds, good. And you may want to fold laundry or whatever. And like you like to pick weeds, I don't, you know, but. I would want to cut wood. I wouldn't want the robot to cut wood for me because it's it's spiritual for me. I love cutting wood. Yeah, it's very spiritual for me. So and meditative. So and then being able to stack the piles and but you you know know, but you know this. Some people don't even know this for themselves. Yeah, of course. So then this takes over all the things that are asking them to be mindful. Mm -hmm. Then what are you left with? Right. This completely unmindful slob based lint sucking stump world yeah, yeah right i mean like i would use a robot to do the editing on a computer for videos and have it be here at the studio to move you know cameras around and yeah. get different angles like i would want to use it as an assistant to help the spiritual work we're doing now yeah not not to think of it like you're i want to lay anomaly. in bed and bro you're an anomaly chew bubble gum and you know watch porn all day long do you see what i'm saying though you're yeah. an anomaly yeah you know these things you've put in so much work and some people haven't even started to put in the work, but then you say, "Here, ten grand, you get yourself a fucking robot." Yeah, dude, come on, that's going downhill fast. Well, I mean, we're we're already screwed because uh, you've have you seen the the video stuff on AI that they're doing where you can type in the thing and then it creates a whole video off of it. Yeah, it's fucked. Imagine them getting all the algorithms from all your thing and then, like in Ex Machina, mm-hmm. creating the perfect porn for you. The yeah. perfect video game for you. Everything. The that perfect you movie that you want to watch. Mm-hmm. And you know, you know, it's funny. You, it's you're going to be more addicted rather than adjusting to the real world, which gives you everything you need to live. Mm-hmm. You create this one that is non-existent, and you put it so that it is completely scrubbed of risk or anything that would be perverse to what your mind's wants are. I think you're going to have. I think a, a live events will be more. I actually think people will uh, crave innate, it. They're going to crave it, like sports or like like Joe Rogan's new comedy thing in Austin. Yeah, um, he makes everybody put their phones in a bag. And I've gone to a couple of these, not not a Joe Rogan's place, but a couple comedy things. You know, where you put everybody puts them in the phone. That's why no one's on the phone, no one's disturbing each other, and people love it because it's almost like you get to take a break from your phone. You know what I mean? For two hours, three hours, whatever, and then you're present. And that becomes kind of addicting. It's like sports, you know, like if somebody goes and watch a, a, a UFC match, you know, or, or a football match or something like that. It's almost like, oh, shit, it's been an hour. I haven't even checked my phone. Yeah. You know, it, I, so I think live events will actually become worth more. I'll tell you why. I was just um, this last weekend. No one wants to watch robots kick a soccer ball. Dude, I, was, I, was, I swear this is so fucking cool. I was just this last weekend at the Santa Fe Performing Arts Center mm. to watch this Live theater group. Ooh, that's cool. Immersive yeah. live theater. Yeah, that's awesome. And the group's called Exodus. Mm. First of all, I've never been like a, a particularly huge fan of live theater. Mm-hmm. Okay. I've seen a couple shows, but nothing where I'm like, I want to write home to mom about it. I went to this this show that they did, Exodus. And um, they put it on, it was called Zero. And it's about AGI. But you are inside the play, immersed inside of it. And you have to keep the actor alive who is an NPC in the game. Mm. Fucking awesome. So cool. You are so, and they're so incredibly, I love that. Dude, they're so talented. They're so professional. It's so immersed. You have no interest in being anywhere near any other phone because you are in it, like living this thing with them. They yank you right into it. It was incredible. Phenomenal three and a half hour show. I loved it. And for anyone's out there, if you have never heard of Exodus, look these people up. Bar none, some of the best live theater acting I've ever uh, seen. Oh, yeah, I love that. Yeah, I like stuff like that. So, yeah, but you're right, though. 